Hi, Janelle Schaefer here with Sheep Hill Herbs. Welcome to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. If you haven't, take the moment to do so and also leave a nice comment and hit the like button before you go. So in today's video, I want to talk about gratitude and how it plays a huge part and role in your health and well-being. So let's get started. So there were many years where I uh, was just taking a lot of herbal supplements and really focused on my diet, which is important to having a great health and vibrancy. You really need whole foods, foods with life and nutrients. But if you haven't learned how to be grateful, it's not going to help you enough. It is when you learn the art of being grateful and holding on to that gratitude where your health will really transform and your life. So I want to share with you something that I learned from um, a thought leader, Jake Ducey, who I really like, and uh, one statement that he uses and that I have adopted for myself is, I am so happy and grateful now that I am healthy or now that I am strong. So it's really important that you say, I am. And I think it's pretty amazing how God, his name means I am, the I am. He is uh, the same forever, now to the end, always from the beginning. He is the I am. So when you say I am, you call upon that eternal divine goodness from God to yourself. And then you say, I'm so happy and grateful. I am so happy and grateful. So you want to say you're grateful. Now that, and instead of saying it as in you're wishing, you're saying now that, as in the present, now that I am healthy. So your statement is something you're saying that it's right now, even if you do not feel it right now. And the other key is that even if you don't feel it, you have to imagine and imagine that feeling. So we have all been gifted with this imagination. And imagination is pretty amazing. I read so many books growing up and the stories that people invented just always blew my mind. So we all have imagination. We can daydream, we can um, envision things, we can set goals. But it does take practice, and if you haven't done it in a while, it might be difficult to do. So let's say you're saying, I am so happy and grateful now that I'm healthy. But you might not be healthy, or you might not feel healthy. You might not even feel strong. So let's pretend by closing our eyes, and you want to start taking deep breaths, because deep breathing is very good for your body, brings in more oxygen. Deep through your nose where you feel your whole body, your chest filling up and you want to close your eyes and imagine what health, I am so healthy looks like. And for each person that might be different. So for you, it might be um, running through a field or from that's what I envision, like just running through a field of flowers. It's sunny. I feel free. I'm maybe leaping just like that free good feeling. Uh, I don't know what I'm so happy and healthy feels like for you, but you're going to imagine it, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel the sun. You're going to feel the breeze. You're going to hear the birds. You're going to feel it as if it were now. And what happens is your, your subconscious mind will make this happen, will make this come into being. Now, everything takes time. You sow a seed, you have time, and you have harvest. That's what uh, <laughs> Joyce Meyer used to say. Seed, time, 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 time. Time can be a while, could be short, but there is time and then there's harvest. Even in when you know a farmer knows that you plant your seeds, you have time and then you have harvest. So sometimes I have manifested things or seen things appear immediately. One time I was thinking about um, I'm so happy and grateful now that I have money flowing to me abundantly. And I was saying this, this was early on when I learned this technique. And that day I went into to a store and someone 
gave me 20 bucks, which never has happened before. So I was like, I knew I was on to something. So what I'm saying is it might take some time, but if you keep doing this on a daily basis, it's not going to take that long where you see a difference. So I don't, I love herbs. I love good nutrition. I love talking about diet and I love talking about plants and making herbal remedies, but I don't like to get stuck there or hung up there because the gratitude, I am so happy, I am so grateful, peace is so, so important. Like I can't separate it. If I had to pick one or the other, if someone just had a, I would say average diet, but didn't have gratitude, I would want them to focus on gratitude. Likewise, I have worked with people with herbs and with nutrition and it's just not, not enough. They're not getting well. They're not having what they want because their mouth and their words are so negative. So let's start with gratitude. And this year, with everything, you, we need it more than ever. A world of gratitude, a, a world of grateful people is just so powerful. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you go out and start talking in, a, in this way and, and showing your appreciation and come back for another video soon.